Hi everyone, Kasia Zmokwa from Digital Art Classes here. In this video I will be talking about super cool feature that was introduced in the first major update for Capture 120 and I will be talking about the before and after tool. So in the previous Capture One version, if you wanted to see the image in its original state before applying any adjustments, you had to press Alt key on your keyboard and hit the reset button. This doesn't work anymore. However, this still works if you want to see the state before and after at the tool level. So let's say I would like to check how my image was looking before applying the HDR adjustments, all the adjustments from this tab. I have performed here only adjustments with highlights. So now if I just press and hold Alt on my keyboard and hit on this little arrow, I can see the before and after adjustments at the tool level. Okay, so let's jump back to our new feature. This is very, very cool and exciting. So now if I would like to see the image before and after, all I need to do is to just hit the Y key on my keyboard and voila, we have before and after. This feature works in two different modes. So if I want to change the mode, I can move over here and select full view or split view slider. So right now we are in a full view and the key Y is showing before and after. Take a note that in the before view, if I would like to introduce any adjustment, the view will automatically jump to after. So if I would like to now adjust the exposure and let's say darken the image a little bit. So if I push the slider to the left, the view automatically has changed to the after. So let's reset the exposure setting and I want to show you the second mode. So let's switch to the split view slider. So with this slider, we have the possibility of just dragging the slider either to see the after or before. And a quite nice part of the feature is that it works on multiple images as well. So let's say I'm happy with the style that I have created for that image. And since I have more pictures from that session that were created with the same lighting conditions, I have just copied the style, reapplied to other images. So let's just copy the style, let's select these three images and let's reapply the style. So now if I move the slider, it will show me the before and after on multiple images. And now when looking at multiple images, you can still switch between the full view or split view slider. So you can change it that way. And if you click on this icon, you will see the before and after. So this is the new before and after feature in Capture 120. 